Oh, how's it going? How you doing today? Just got doing you. Got done doing your mom, man. Nice. That's uh, that's good to hear. That explains the disappointed look on her face. What do you do when you're not perusing Los Santos? Little voice acting, little radio. Have you seen uh, Despicable Me? Yes, I, I have. The, uh, the minions. No, you did not. Give me, give me a little demo. Give me a little, uh, give me some proof. I want some evidence. In a world where Batman fucked Robin, all your dreams will come true. That, that didn't sound like one of the Despicable Me, Me minions. I don't think they would actually say that in the, I think it's a, a children's film, isn't it? So I'm intrigued about your voice acting. Tell me more. Well, I'm a, a pretty good liar, I guess. Maybe. I've done game casting. That's kind of the only experience I have in voice acting. What, what do you do now? I'm just going to school. I've had a few different weird jobs. What's, what's the weirdest job you've ever had? I used to be a linesman. What? Like, what's uh, that? Like for Comcast. Like I would climb oh. telephone poles and make repairs. Oh no shit! How how was it? Like, what's what's your craziest story from that? I'm sure you've got some good ones. Weird animal encounters, finding weird stuff in people's houses. Like what? You gotta go in people's houses sometimes. Uh, you know, any and everything BDSM. BDSM, <laughs> nice. Oh yeah, dude. So many more people are into that than you would think. Wow. Here's here's the thing, it's people. The most private place in someone's house is usually their master bedroom closet. Yeah. That just happens to be where there's a junction box in a lot of houses. Right. So I have to go there sometimes. And they just never would think that you need to go in there normally. So they don't think to put things away. I don't know. Like big wooden crosses with like leather straps on them and swings and <laughs> any and every kind of dildo, obviously. Do do they ever Strap like on. see you going in there and like? Go like, oh shit. Like, yeah, I mean, they know I'm going to go in there. It's like, they just must think like, oh, I don't have time to put this stuff away. I guess I don't care if the Comcast guys knows. You'd think that eventually I would have had some kind of weird opportunity, but nope. What's like the shadiest thing you've ever witnessed at Comcast? The shadiest, you said? Yeah, I mean, other than the obvious that you were mentioning earlier. Well, there was this, it was my, actually my second day ever. Yeah. On the job. And I still was, like, in training. I was just going around in another tech's truck with him. And we, uh, you're not supposed to move furniture in people's houses, but we did. We moved this one dresser for this woman because it was just a little tiny lady at home. And she could usually you have to tell the customer to move the furniture just so it doesn't get broken or whatever. Yeah. So she's like, I can't. And, you know, we understood. We moved it. And we opened the top drawer of this dresser and just rolls of cash. Just rolls and rolls and rolls and rolls, all rubber banded up. Oh my god. And we, like, the guy, the tech that I was with was like, like, just so you know, you can't touch that. Like, <laughs> like he's like, obviously you're not supposed to steal, but he's like, this looks illegal, so definitely don't touch it. Yeah. And we just closed it back up and, you know, left and didn't even say anything to the lady about it, but that was that was definitely some kind of drug money or something. Wow. And, and the dress, but, like, yeah. the, the drawer was just completely full of it? It wasn't just, like, a couple... Well... Rolls. It looked it looked pretty full, definitely. Yeah, it looked pretty full. I mean, I didn't look all all the way in there or anything, but it was I mean, it was the most cash I've ever seen in my life. The the look that you and your partner must have given each other at that moment must have been <laughs> it was, we just stared priceless. at each other. <laughs> yeah. Have you guys ever gotten close to dying? Like, have you almost, almost died? Me? Yeah. Whoever. A couple times. A couple times? Doing what? We're all messing around, and this 
one asshole pushed me and I fell three stories. What? I landed in bushes. That's the only reason I lied. I'm alive. Oh my god. Did you break anything or? Oh shit, yeah. <laughs> Wait, how does that happen where someone just pushes you and you fall off three stories? Like, were we're you on the... the roof. Oh my god. <laughs> we're stupid ass kids. Jesus Christ. Was he, he wasn't trying to push you off the roof, was he? He was just no. an accident? Okay. Yeah, it was an accident. Shit, if he tried to pull me, push me off, I'd kill him. Yeah, seriously. Man, before he kills you. Jeez. What, uh, what did you break? Our log shows we already I, the car to you. uh, all together in my life or just in that? Just, just that incident. I'm wondering what kind of injuries you'd sustain from a three-story fall. Oh, I, well, I landed in some nice bushes, but I broke my leg, three ribs, and my arm. Oh my, and my god. And my clavicle. All at once. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, that... That pains me just yeah, I was in, hearing that. I was in some serious pain. So what like what what would be the next steps after that? Like someone calls you an ambulance or call your parents? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's the last thing next thing I remember I woke up about 8 months later. <laughs> Seriously. Wait. Are you serious? Not really 8 months. No. No, okay. I, it was about 2 months. They had me on pain medication out the wazoo, I guess. The next thing you remember from that incident was two months later? Yep. <laughs> no way. I, get, I, I don't know what happened. All I know is that that's what they told me. It was broken. I don't know. I probably had internal injuries. Christ. I don't know. But, yeah. Yeah, I, I, was, I was pretty thankful. And you said there was yeah, another... I was, uh... yeah. yeah, well, the other time I, um, I was hit by the drunk driver. Had, clearly, they clearly had his fault. Jaws of life to pull me out. What? <laughs> yeah. That that was when I was older, though. Yeah, they had to use the jaws of life to get me out. I was freaking seriously. They they were they they didn't think the human body could contort that way. <laughs> oh my god. But I, I had like, I the only thing I the only thing that happened to me was I had a slash across my chest. Wow. Nothing else. Walk 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 I, me they, walk me through the a, whole thing. Like what what happened? Like you were driving, you were driving. It was normal, and then. Out of nowhere, suddenly? This or guy what? came down the hill, hit me 60 miles, and I rolled over all the way down the hill. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. your, your car actually, like, tumbled. I was tumbled. surprised. I, I had a cut across my chest from, uh, I think it was the seatbelt. And were you, so, were, you, I don't know. were you knocked unconscious when he hit you, or were you conscious for the whole tumble down the, the hill? I was conscious for the whole thing. I, was, I thought I was dead. Seriously, I did. Oh, my God. I mean, I thought I was dead. I thought I was... I couldn't move for like the longest time after you hit me because, you know, your body goes into that whole shock. Your body would go into the, you know, I'm going into ragdoll mode, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I couldn't move anything. What? I was like, wow. I was just so lucky. What That's kind of say. what kind of thoughts do you even have in that moment? Yeah, I was like, well, it's I'm over. I remember saying, well, this is the end. Well, I hope I lived a good life. That's, oh that's the last thing, God. you know. That's all I was thinking of. And before you knew it, these, what, firefighters were pulling you out, I'm guessing, with the jaws of life? Yeah. Yeah. They're like, don't move your body. I'm like, okay, I can't move it anyways. <laughs> and, and then I heard one of them say, uh-oh. That's insane. Yeah, but, hey, I, I'm, I'm very happy. I, I, seriously. That's why, I, you know, I try to be good in the games. Shit, I'm, 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 I'm the worst motherfucker you want to be with. But... <laughs> real life i don't act like anything like this i i'm pretty easygoing kind of help everybody kind of person but in the games i act like the person i would probably have become if i never had near death but thanks for sharing that story man that's, that's uh good. that was intense yeah, no problem I, I i'm care. i'm glad i'm glad you made it out alive <laughs> yeah me too